Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Luke. I'm here to help you finish out the drawing that we started on last week. Um, and so the first thing we want to do is we want to fill in our circles over here with designs on them. So you can follow along with the ones that I'm doing, or you can make up your own. It doesn't really matter. And you can draw in pencil and come back to it to trace later if you want to. And remember, at any point, if you feel like you're getting behind, you can just pause the video until you feel like you've caught up and then press play again. And we can create a pattern on the lid of this jar or vase that's holding our flowers. And then we can create a pattern of stripes like that. Okay, and that finishes up our drawing part of it. Now what you can do is fill it in with color using crayons, if you want to, or markers. Um, and if you want to, you can paint it. If you don't have any paint and you want it to have a painted look, you can use your markers. and create kind of some lines like this. And this is kind of the greenery that would be around the flowers if you had a bouquet. So if you do that, and then you come in with just water, you can go over this and it will smear the color of the marker. The reason being um, the markers that are washable are not, they're not permanent. So when they get wet, the color bleeds but it does create a really pretty painted look. So again, you can add um, a painted look just by markers with some water on a brush, um, or you can just color it with markers or crayons.
Okay, and I'm going to just finish that up, and I will let you finish the rest of yours however you like. I hope you enjoyed um, this project, and I can't wait to make more art with you. Have a great day.